Francis from the Galactic Federation of Billy Poets. And uh, this piece is called Bells. The beginning of the rest of my life did not occur when I entered high school, but during first semester conferences of second grade. It was the first time that I was called a genius. It was the first time I had to sit and listen to my teacher praise my work ethic. It was the first time that I realized that somehow I was different. And then the bell rang, and I was in fourth grade. Every single day became a barrage of compliments, but even then I knew I wasn't worth them. My hands were still green from smudged colored pencil and cheap wax crayons, but people would still pay quarters for anything my stiff fingers could draw. It was the first time that I realized that I was expected to be the best. The bell rang and I was in fifth grade. I was so naive to believe that the easy days could stay, the days where I could doodle all I wanted and no one said a word because that was the year my teacher called my parents to tell them that my doodling was a problem, a distraction, that the creativity pouring from my ears was an issue, so I got a notebook. And the bell rang, and rang, and rang through the summer to the fall, and rang reminding Emmy every single moment that I am a prodigy, but my heart was never in it. As I try to write my heart on this paper, I find that my hands have grown stiff from disuse. My mind has grown musty from inactivity, but before I can shake the cobwebs, the bell rings, and my words stop. I want those words to flow like the water from a faucet, but they crunch. They crunch like the, the, the crunchy peanut butter that sticks to my teeth while I eat. I'm hungry not for food, but for true learning. Every scrap of information slides down my throat just to be regurgitated onto the next test. Time is flying by, and instead of spending it happily writing my sorrows away, I am stealing moments after class to jot down my thoughts, and the bell rings. This ringing is in every part of my being, in my fingers. Twitch, my heart lurches, and out of instinct I jump out of my seat. This bell tells me when to eat. It tells me when to work. I wake up to and fall asleep dreaming of that bell. If this ringing is the best four years of my life, kill me now before I go insane, because the ramblings of a madman will never be accepted as literature. And even as these words flow from the tip of my pen, <laughs> 